I'm here with Stuart Mayer from CamBlock. Stuart makes these awesome motion control devices. Now, I know that time lapse is really a big deal these days, but motion control originally was developed to be able to do repeatable moves. So you might be able to shoot an object and then layer in other things, hanging miniatures and so forth. I worked in the film business for quite a bit, mm -hmm. and we worked hard to develop things that were much bigger than this and much more cumbersome. And look, here you've done it in a small <laughs> and compact manner. Yeah, I mean, our, our whole goal has been to take all those studio effects that are in big studios and locked down, or if they're portable, weigh hundreds if not thousands of pounds, and miniaturize them for today's modern cameras so that you can take them in the field. Um, so you can take, you know, what used to be just un impractical to move, now is two, system, two cases that can pack on an airplane and travel with you anywhere in the world. And so that opens up motion control to a whole bunch of people. You know, the price is lower, it's portable, and you can start introducing things like motion control time lapse. Like, we're here in you know, beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we can program this to do these beautiful pans and sweeps, and we also have a dolly system that incorporates into it, and, and dollies, and get really dynamic, interesting cinematic shots, um, and then play them back over and over for layers, for exposures, or play them step by step. Um, for a time lapse, where you know normally if you're doing a six hour time lapse, you can't sit there and push something super slow and steady for yeah. six hours. Uh, but the computer can, and it can do it accurately. And it just you know makes some of those gorgeous surrealistic images that you might have seen on like Nat Geo or Discovery Channel or uh, PBS, something like that. Yeah, so much of the 3D motion graphics require a, a stepping motor controlled motion control camera to do the repeatable moves, just like he was saying for uh, doing the layers, adding in layers and layers. Now, this one's zooming around at a pretty high rate of speed, but that's really just to let you see what it does. Normally, this guy on a time lapse would take small incremental moves, so move, shoot, move, shoot. Now, your, exactly. your black box, uh, does that also uh -huh. control the uh, camera firing? So uh, if you decide to do motion control rather than video? It, it does, it does. It controls the exposure of the camera. It triggers uh, any camera that has a trigger input. Um, and we can also you know, do bulb ramping and exposure mapping where we can change the bulb time that it's shooting over time of day to help compensate for exposure changes. Um, but it, really the real challenge here is taking something that's really uh, a high-tech and gadgety like, you know, servos and integrated circuits that are programmed, you know, in continuous loops, maintaining and monitoring speed and positions and, you know, little iPads and, mm -hmm. and iPacks and you name it, you know, all this technology and you end up taking it to the worst environment that it was never designed for, you know, you're up, uh, in the polar regions of the world shooting polar bears or you're in the Sahara Desert or you're, you're, you're in, I did a Nat Geo shoot in Micronesia and where it was monsooning every day in hundreds of degrees and so all this technology meets in some of the roughest conditions. That's one of the hardest part. Yeah. But, uh, but it's really rewarding because you get to take this cool stuff to places where, you know, nerds like me normally would never be allowed to go to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of times the technology is really what opens the door. Yeah, it? it really is. And it's beautiful. You've done a great job of integrating all of the mechanics. You know, it looks like it's very tight. And right now you're uh, spinning a 1DC, the Can mm -hmm. Canon's uh, SLR uh, 4K camera. Now this guy is capable of shooting 24 frame per second at 4K. That's about an 8 megapixel still for every single frame. So these are awesome for both still and motion capture. Mm -hmm. And your joystick uh, yep, black a, box here also looks quite nice and tight. Yeah, you know, we try to make uh, stuff that can, can put up with abuse. So it's all hard anodized aluminum so it won't, you know, corrode easily and uh, can take a beating and just, you know, give you a nice high quality feel that'll last. Take a licking and keep on ticking, mm -hmm. as they used to say. These days, so much change so quickly, so much technology coming to the forefront. What an awesome time it is to be a filmmaker. Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate taking the time out to show us your system. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We'll take a look at the footage. He's got some great footage coming right up.